Hi, I'm Angry Tom. I'm going to try to not be so angry, but to explain something. Our election process has been thwarted by the Democrat Party. Starting in Chicago when they let dead people vote, they've taken it to almost a perfect science now. They use write-in ballots of people who aren't going to vote or are dead. I swear these people have like acorn groups that study obituaries and say, okay, we can have this person do a write-in now and this person and this person. They use illegal immigrants. The states that allow, quote, motor voter. They give driver's licenses to people who are illegally. They shouldn't even be here. And yet they give them a driver's license, and with a driver's license, they just go vote. Now, this BS about all the illegal immigrants coming here for jobs, what a joke. What, 80% of our prisons nationally are full of illegal immigrants? Would they do jaywalk? They're here for our free schools, for our welfare, for Social Security, and that's another Democrat ploy, giving Social Security to illegal immigrants. How do people even vote Democrat? I don't get it. But anyway, I want to start a simple campaign. I nicknamed it Vote or Die, because we're losing America. And yes, we are going to die. We have another Hitler coming up through our ranks. We have the Muslim Brotherhood invading our nation. We have them in the White House. Check it out. Barack Obama and Valerie Jarrett have Muslim Brotherhood connections in the White House. What a great country. And they're a terrorist organization to boot. But yet our media, not my media, the Democrat Party media, forgets these little items. But anyway, let's get back to vote or die. We have 20 to 40 percent on a good day of voter turnout. So we know that the Democrats are stealing elections, like a 100% vote for Barack Obama in all Cleveland area. That's like me hitting Mega Millions and Powerball in the same week. Duh, media forgot that part. Or how about the counties, multiple counties around the United States where there was over a 100% voter turnout. Not, not 100%, like 110, 112, 117. Uh, duh, even if you're a Democrat, the light should go on, that's impossible. You can't have more voters than registered votes. Oh, anyway, and what I meant to say is actually you can't have more votes than registered voters, but in America, <laughs> under Democrats, anything's possible. So the only way we're going to be able to fix this, because we don't have an attorney general that investigates anything, we don't have inspector generals investigating anything, because the Democrats are in charge. So they don't want to investigate themselves. So this entire nation's full of corrupt people. Corruption's everywhere. And the average American citizen says, oh, my vote doesn't matter. It does matter. If we can get the other 60%, if it's at 40%, if we can get the other 60% to vote and vote Republican, find a Tea Party candidate, we can even get more votes than the Democrats are stealing right now. And we can then start correcting America and fixing America. So please, I know the odds are good. If you're watching this, you don't vote. And if you're going to vote Democrat, stay home. You've already killed America anyway by voting for this idiot Obama two times. But if you're a conservative and you don't like Mitch Romney because of his religion or you don't like you know, John McCain or whoever, because they're idiots. Yes, the Republicans do elect idiots. Hey, I'm from Michigan. We got this Snyder guy, a real moron. And then I hear it all the time. He's a Republican. He's not a Republican. The first thing he did was raise taxes on pensions. A Republican doesn't raise taxes. Tea Party people will not raise taxes. If anything, they're going to make the government smaller. So you have more money in your pocket. And that's what makes the economy grow. Democrats raise taxes. You have less money, but we're screwed. But anyway, let's get back to voter die real quickly. Since our elections are being stolen by Democrats, the only way we can counter it is to get more people to the polls voting Republican to counteract these illegal elections. So I don't care if it's a dog catcher or a mayor or a sheriff 
or in this case, president, quit voting Democrat. D, Democrat, D, dummy. You're a dummy if you vote Democrat. Look at every major city, Detroit, LA, New York, whatever. Every major city run by Democrats, shithole. Total cesspool. Why? Democrats. We have idiots in Detroit that have had the Dingle family for 85 years in power. From Dingle Sr., Dingle Jr., now they even, I knew they were going to, they voted for the idiot's wife. Why? Oh, because she cares. She cares. She's a moron Democrat. Oh, she has a heart. She's still a Democrat. Look around you, Detroit. Your city is a cesspool because you keep voting for Democrats. Way to go, morons. The best time of this nation was under Reagan, Ronald Reagan. Why? Work for. He, he took welfare and said, if you're going to be on welfare, you're going to work for it. And all of a sudden, people who never had a job started getting jobs. And what did they do? They found out they had self-worth, that they could be somebody. And matter of fact, they were making more money bringing it home than they were ever getting from welfare. And lives were changed. The unemployment was the lowest it's ever been in our nation. That's under Republicans, under conservatives. Conservative Republicans. Not people who say they're Republican. Conservative Republican. But anyway, vote or die. Get out. Vote. Let's save America from you. Thanks. I'm Angry Tom. Hope you hear me on Bill Bennett's show someday. It's called Bill Bennett's Morning in America. Take care.